everyone, welcome to the 14th part of my Gary's Mod Lua tutorial series. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. Uh, I'm in the web browser here and I have a basic Lua file set up and I have the console on the right side. Today we're going to be going over advanced tables. So just to begin, I'm going to go ahead and write local store equals table. And I could go ahead and say store, um, I don't know, one equals, uh, what are we selling? Uh, shoe and then store to, um, I don't know, uh, mop, store three, we'll say orange, and then store four, we'll say keyboard. I don't know, I'm just saying whatever comes to my mind. Okay, <laughs> so now we could do something like this. You can loop over this table and say 4KB in pairs, store two, and, and we'll go ahead and do print K comma V. So it's gonna print the keys and the value of store. Maxi one, two, two, mop three, orange four, keyboard. <clears throat> we're, we're very familiar with this, we know how to do this, but what if we want to add in some uh, additional data such as a price for each item? So the way we could do this is by creating three dimensional tables by having one table that holds uh, many more tables. So to do that, I'm gonna go ahead and say store one equals, I'm gonna say table, store two equals table, Actually, hold on, let me, let me structure the first one first and then I'll just copy and paste. So I could do something like this. I could say name equals shoe. Then I could say price equals 400. And then let me just copy and paste this over and over again. Now let's replace all our keys with the correct numbers. All right, so we got mop, orange, keyboard. All right, so now I want everything to be more expensive than the previous item. So now if I go ahead and run this, you can see we get one, two, three, four, but we get table, 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 table. Now, if I want to <clears throat> get the same results as we originally did, all I have to do is v.name. And now if I run this, now you can see that. Or I could do comma v.price, and now I'm getting the name and the price. Or instead of writing it like this, I could go ahead and write it like this and say print k comma let me fix my tabbing here uh, k I could do v and then like this I could say name or v and then excuse me price there we go and we're not getting the same results for some reason why is that huh you know, oh, there we go. That was weird. I don't know what happened there. I guess I just need to run it again. Um, yeah, so there we go. Now you can see we have the same results. If I go ahead and just comment this out and run it, you see exactly the same. So there's two different ways to write this, and now I'm going to show you another way to write this. So we could actually, instead of appending these values after we create the store table, we could add these values in as soon as we create the store table. So we could go local store equals table. And then since the keys are automatically created for us, we don't need to write those. So we can just say name equals shoe, price equals 400. And then do comma, since it's in the declaration, name equals mop, price equals 800. And then I'm just gonna copy and paste this stuff here so I don't have to retype it. And then just remove this. And remove this. And now we should get the exact same results, hopefully. We run it, exactly the same. If I go ahead and delete this, and run it, it's still the same. So there's multiple ways to write this. Um, and basically what's really useful about this is, for example, whenever you're having a store, you can have the prices associated with an item. Uh, whenever you have, for example, items that are gonna drop on the ground, you can have a drop rate, the percentage that they're gonna drop on the ground, um, just some additional data, like if you're ever registering items in the inventory, for example, a model, or if you guys are familiar with Dark RP, uh, whenever you're creating jobs, it's just one big table of um, the, the jobs themselves are stored in one big table, and then each job itself is a table with, a da with data associated with it that Dark RP uses. Uh, so yeah, this is a quick introduction to three-dimensional tables. I hope you guys have a great day, and uh, take care.